Hi, my name is Brian Doherty. My wife, our daughter and myself applied directly to the Scottish Government for a subject access request for information held about our family. Most of the information they sent me was letters that I'd actually sent them. The rest of the information was heavily sanitised and heavily censored so that I could not see who was involved in the correspondence about my family and most of the information was just not included. For the purpose of this video and revealing more corruption involving the Scottish Government against my family, I want to focus on a number of pieces of correspondence. They are very revealing about the Scottish Government cover-up of corruption involving public bodies against my family since reporting paedophile. There are particular items of correspondence I'd like to discuss with you. The first is the dossier itself, which I sent to the Scottish Government about police corruption and an elite paedophile ring. Upon receipt of this dossier, this was sent directly to Police Scotland to attack my family. Police Scotland received my information from the Scottish Government and immediately put together a task force. This task force involved two bodies mentioned in this dossier, Police Scotland and Aberdeenshire Council, who then aggressively campaigned in using falsified reports and statements to have my wife and I sectioned and our children put into care permanently. This nearly happened and would have come to pass had it not been for a good judge in February of this year, 2015. The basis of the now infamous, sorry, infamous concern report by Police Scotland to social services was the unfounded lie that my daughter Alexandra was not in education. Now, I've been a teacher for 15 years, so you can imagine how I felt about that lie. In my dossier to the Scottish Government, I pointed out <clears throat> that this was not only a lie, but it was known to be a lie by Police Scotland, and I proved this also to be a lie. My wife and I had homeschooling permission for our daughter, and after we were informed of this concern report, I sent copies of the permission to homeschool via recorded delivery to the Director of Social Work, Richie Johnson, the Social Work Manager, hounding us, David O'Neill, on the Director's behalf, and the Children's Reporter in Aberdeen. This correspondence here, which we received back from the Scottish Government, shows a paragraph in which it's completely blanked out the permission for homeschooling. The reason why this is blanked out by the Scottish Government can only be because it mentions three senior local government officials in Alex Salmon's constituency who are named as having received indisputable proof that the actions of Aberdeenshire Council were illegal and there is indisputable proof that the document that I sent was received by all three individuals. That includes Richie Johnson, Manager David of Social Work and the Children's Reporter. There's indisputable and controversial proof they received the document and they received it by recorded delivery. Now it's interesting that the Scottish Government have censored this information about all three local government officials. That's all been censored and someone's put a line around it here. The last thing to note about the Scottish Government's role in the attack is that they failed to comply with the subject access request. Because this information reveals the level of corruption involved by local government bodies and the Scottish Government itself. Now, being over the age of 12, the Scottish Government acknowledges my daughter Alexandra has the legal right to access information held about her. However, they have refused her access to this information and state they will only give her access to this information if she applies via a legal agent. Imagine the Scottish Government denying a 13-year-old girl her legal rights and insisting she gets herself legal representation before they will give her access to information which she's already legally entitled to. Not only have they failed to give us access to the most significant information, but they've refused to give us access to the information held about her daughter, Alexandra. Why? Finally, I can only assume the Scottish Government attached a covering letter to my dossier about an elite paedophile network, which they addressed to my previous address at Viking Petersham's estate, that they actually send this information to the Viking. Yeah, it is here. Although it says on the top of this letter it was not issued to the correspondent, in other words, me, it does not say it was not sent. On top of this, there appears to be a number two, the top of the page, suggesting that there was a page one. 
Could this perhaps have been addressed to Alex Salmon's close neighbour, Viscount Petersham? Thank you for watching. Neighbours, everybody needs good neighbours. <laughs>